say about a potential cause of death? Yeah, Courtney Russ, we're told that 42-year-old Nathan Miller's body was found along Scenic Highway 2900 just before 4 a.m. Monday. But the coroner's office says his body showed no signs of external or internal trauma, and police say no foul play has been indicated. It's the outcome no one wanted to see. 42-year-old Nathan Millard of Covington, Georgia, found dead. His body discovered wrapped inside a rug and plastic on the side of the road early Monday morning. It's just heartbreaking. I mean, I just... Uh... I mean, it, it like chokes me up just thinking about it. Millard, who was in Baton Rouge on a business trip, disappeared on February 23rd. His friend Matthew still told Fox 5 he was at a bar called Happy's across from his hotel around 1030 on the night of the 22nd, but never showed up to meet with a client the following morning. It's, it's just a situation you never, ever expect to happen close to you and especially not in your own family. Several agencies assisted in the search for Millard, including the Cajun Navy and Texas EcuSearch, nonprofits dedicated to search and recovery efforts. Endings, it's not the ending we hoped for, it's not what we prayed for. A coroner's report that said Millard had no external or internal trauma has only led to more questions. We don't have any indication that there was any foul play involved. We are looking into how he ended up where he was. Investigators believe Millard's body was likely left there. Baton Rouge police said they're using a number of resources to try and get answers about what happened that night, including surveillance video footage to try and retrace his steps after he left the bar. Throughout the next several hours, we were able to track him to several different businesses in the Baton Rouge area. Police in Baton Rouge are asking the person who saw him last to come forward to talk to investigators. The manner and cause of death are pending an autopsy's final results being completed. We're told Millard's family is devastated, but they are in the process of getting together funeral arrangements. That's the latest here live in the studio tonight. Joy Dukes, Fox 5 News.